And now our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC the light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alexander Rocket! Rocket! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Yuri Ganisa! Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, so mission accomplished for Yuri Prohaska, first champion out of the Czech Republic, but this man is not resting on his laurels. Married to the game doesn't even begin to describe it. He has worked methodically on every part of his game and believes increasingly that he is becoming as dangerous on the ground as he is on the feet. Slips there. That is a damaging kick that lands. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, that left hand has been there at times. Not on that attempt. Nice jab. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, you can spot that wide base, that stance of Yuri Prohaska from a mile away. His opponent didn't see that right hand coming up. Yeah, that right hand is, is tremendous from Yuri Prohaska. But that right hand starts with that wide base, with his ability to draw it. Your mistake, and then he always capitalizes on it. Rokic gets caught by the straight punch. Back and forth we go. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, lands a nice straight. Those are big strikes. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Rockage. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Straight right is there. Missed on the right hand. Oh, strong punch there by Pro Hoska. Leg kick. A nice jab by him there. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Well, he can see a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Under two minutes to go in a back. Oh! So some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Less than a minute to go in the round. Yeah. 
when both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Mr. Straight connection right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Nice leg kick. Prohaska's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Ten seconds to go in round one. He loaded up there on that high kick. He's giving him so many different things right now. Outstanding round and another five minutes coming up. All right, so the round is over and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. To see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes. That both of these guys are very... That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Barely missed there. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. All right, well, that blow is busseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. So the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here? Well, I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force, and his opponent is starting to wear down. Work. So I will Come not on, be work. surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Rocket, his eye is starting to swell shut. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Lands to the body. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. It got checked. 
Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. Oh! All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands, every punch lands. Oh, oh how good is this? Both men going for the finish. That punch was deflected, nicely done. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. That was a jab. Oh, nice. Rockich's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Under 30 seconds. Real quick leg kick. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Final seconds. That is, oh man, this dude is good. So the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Don't be stupid. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Third go. round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Rockage is cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. They'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Cole. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Prohaska's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Nice transition. He gets hit with another massive ground and pound strike. He has got to protect this cut. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Checks the leg kick. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Rockage. Push kick there to the body. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Blachowicz, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get hit. Oh, with authority, the body. So Hoskins' eye is closing up now. Not good. 
good for him. Nice block. Oh, oh he gets back up. But oh. You heard him bad. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. All right, getting late. Back and forth we go, blood is everywhere. I'm just not sure how much one man can take, never mind both of these guys absorbing a ton of damage. To yeah, John, they're spraying blood all over each other. They're beating each other up. They are in each other's face. They are really showing you what type of heart you need in order to be a fighter. What a performance by both. Very rarely do you gain in losing. But whoever loses this fight, what will be able to leave this octagon with their head held high. Rockage's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled, it is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week, but now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Both fighters. Oh! Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight, really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yuri Denisa Prochaska. So Yuri Prohaska lighting up the masses and the arena as usual as he is your winner tonight by knockout. Massive knockout victory.